What is up guys? Before I get to the video, I just want to remind you that you're still in time to try and get yourself one of two 100 pound vouchers from Uznes by guessing the new channel name, which will be revealed this Sunday, the 15th November. So make sure you check out this video because you're gonna have the biggest hints. And if you want more hints, I suggest you go check out the other video. But in the meantime, I'm gonna let you guys get back into it. What is up, makers? So my CNC is fully set up, as you've seen in the last video, but it, it took a while to actually get it to run because of these. See, I need to make a wasteboard. In order to make a wasteboard properly, you need to have a way to secure the pieces that you're going to CNC. Now, these are four-pronged T-nuts, and apparently these are near impossible to get in Malta. So I had to order them from Amazon. I ordered 200 of them from the same seller, but for some reason, they sent it through for Four different countries one of them got lost so I had to reorder but everything's here now first I need to get the wasteboard that I cut um, which unfortunately isn't like the full width of the machine because that is the largest MDF board I can find in Malta that's the size that it comes in it's 122 centimeters but that will make do for now eventually I might sort something else differently but for now that will do so what I need to do is I need to flip it over in order to start drilling holes. Now the reason why I had to flip it over is because I had already started drilling the uh, holes here in order to secure it to the frame, the CNC frame, um, and therefore I don't want to redo with that again so we'll just much easier to just flip it around and start. Now I also mentioned last time that I want to run the uh, the power cable for the router through the cable chain but it, it was pointed out to me that there might be electrical interference. It's unlikely because this runs on a duet but just for the sake of it, I still have to have the, uh, the vacuum pipe or the extraction pipe going through upwards. So that will run just with the extraction pipe and, and that sorts out any issue. Okay, so we have we have done the holes for the threaded, like the inserts to hold down clamps and pieces. Uh, we've done the guide rails, and we also surfaced the uh, the top of the wasteboard. Lots of mistakes happened, but lots of lessons were learned. So first things first. Up until the point of doing the holes for the uh, the insert, the T nuts, everything was perfectly fine. Then I did the uh, the guide lines i don't know what you call them I'm guidelines guidelines 
Now, that was the first mistake. The guidelines should have come in last. Um, and then I did the surfacing. And the surfacing, there was a bit of bowing and unevenness, quite a bit of it actually, uh, on the MDF board. I started off trying to skim just half a millimeter from the side and ended up skimming like two millimeters from certain areas. And what happened was, as you can see, the uh, uh, inside is nice and clean, but then the more on the outside the router went, the browner it went because it was burning the MDF. Um, and that was the other lesson that was learned, that these things, well, these aren't indestructible. As you can see, it's, uh, it's taken quite a toll. And it was burning the wood as going along, and yeah, that was, yeah, that, that was, that was another lesson learned. So anyway, in a way, that actually worked out for me. And the reason being is that now it's time for me to do some tramming. And for those of you who don't know, tramming is making sure that the, the spindle or the router is perpendicular to the surface of the board. So as you can see here, there are like more pronounced lines. So like here, I can feel there is a ridge. So this side here is slightly higher than this end here, which means that the, that the router is kind of tilting, this is exaggerated, but tilting forward. Now also when it goes to the side, there are also some of these. And I can tell you that, for example, this side is higher than this side, which means that the, that the router is also tilting kind of sideways. So it's uh, there and, and kind of, yeah, it's, it's, it's pointing to the dark side of the moon, basically. Now, if you made it this far, first of all, thank you. Second of all, if you're one of the 70% of people that actually do watch my channel but are not subscribed, well, now's probably the time to do it because the amount of things that are going to be happening on this channel are absolutely insane. So definitely make sure you subscribe.
And that is it. We finally have the CNC all up and running. It took a while. It was quite a bit of a hassle for me. It was the first time to be working with such a large CNC. There's quite a lot to it, um, but it's, it's a learning curve I'm more than willing to tackle. Now, for those of you who notice that there aren't any more boxes over there, but just, just a few machines over there, and wondering what else I've been doing, because this, this, this video was supposed to go out last week, but I was waiting for a few things from Amazon. So I decided to work on something else in the meantime, which is, this right here. So this is my new workbench. Yes, that is instant coffee. Don't judge me. I don't have a coffee machine down here and that's actually quite good. So yeah, this is going to be my new mobile workbench. That thing over there, the miter saw actually just, you know, hides itself. Oh, actually, you know what? We can, I can, I can actually show you guys how, how it works because this is awesome. So uh, let me just remove this clamp from here. We'll hide away down there and then it's going to have like a flat top that covers here and I have my vacuum cleaner or air filtration system down here. I have my table saw with an upgraded fence. I'm going to have some shelves there for power tools. I have my air compressor down here. Over there, over here, I'm gonna have my thicknesser, which will also be sort of rotating and hide itself down here. Over here, I'm gonna have some drawers so I can put stuff inside. And yeah, this will house, I'd say about 70 or 80% of my, my tools, which I'm really excited about. So don't worry if, if you guys want the plans for this, They'll be available soon, but it's a work in progress. I have to finish them first. Once I finish it, I will release them. Okay, so that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a guess in the comment section to what you think the name of the new channel will be. Well, not the new channel, the renaming of this channel will be. I mean, as you've probably guessed, it's going to be three words, but I've said it was three words, but now you know it's a B, an N, an M. Like those are, you know, big hint. I'm not gonna say any more to get yourself a chance to win a hundred pound voucher from Uznes. There are two to give away for you, uh, for you guys on YouTube. I have another one and a router going on to my Patreon supporters, which by the way, I have a Discord channel now. So if you guys join me in my upper tiers of Patreon, you guys get to be able to chat with me anytime you guys want. Right, that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe because the amount of awesome projects I have planned for this channel are absolutely out of this world. Um, so yeah, just subscribe, just do it, do it. Take care of yourself guys and as always, happy baking.